Hi everyone, um, I've got something here I'd like to share and what it is is the uh, Robert uh, Krupa uh, spark plug uh, idea and uh, I made my own kind of a little different though but it's the same concept so what I did is I went to the dollar store and I found this hook here for a dollar was on top of the door. The nice thing about it is this nice big ball on the end here. And um, I thought, okay, well, I got two of these actually, and I used them as as my spark gaps. And I was just checking to see the behavior from one ball to another in the spark. And then after as well, I also decided uh, I'd like to get some kind of a of the uh, opposite. Uh, dome that's over his uh, spark plug and what I found at the dollar store as well is just this stainless uh, steel uh, screen that goes into a drain for picking up debris and uh, I, I shaped it to uh, be round like the a ball here and this is what I've got so there's the the drain uh, screen and if you look closely inside, you see the ball. And I've got it pretty well evenly gapped uh, all around. And uh, I'll demo that for you. Now one thing that I've noticed is this works much better with the, um, the ground uh, of the coil on the ball itself inside and the output of the primary here, the live output, uh, on the outside uh, dome here. So that's what I'm getting the best results with. And um, I'm using this driver here to pulse the coil because you've got to pulse it to at a high enough frequency to get the uh, I guess form of plasma to uh, break apart in many little arcs and um, I've got it set now at the best frequency and it's just basically the same circuit that I had uh, played with before which is a circuit that uh, user all Canadian has posted and I've got a video about this particular circuit and uh, what I've done is I've attached a capacitor well the circuit usually has the capacitor and I've attached a bulb to it. This bulb is a 120 volt, uh, 7.5 watt bulb. And that's just basically picking up the uh, collapsing feel of the primary of the coil. So to show you that there's also uh, power that's utilized or could be utilized there as well to charge a capacitor or whatever. Um, I'm not going to do my... Uh, uh, effect on this with the uh, diodes and the capacitor bank because uh, I don't seem to, to be able to get a, a result with that as soon as I have the diodes uh, put onto this it kills the uh, the effect of the spark so anyways some work needs to be done on that to find uh, if there is a way to get it to work together um, so let me just start this uh, I've got 48 volts DC here. Uh, it works on 12 volts, but the best effect I was getting with it is a higher voltage input to the coil. So it's coming right on right now. And Can't measure it because uh, all my uh, equipment just goes to uh, to hell. Because right now um, my fluke 
voltmeter is not even hooked up and it's showing minus nearly 500 volts. So uh, that goes completely berserk and here's my other meter here and if you look at the numbers it's just also going berserk. Uh, everything pretty well is just going berserk around here. If you look at my uh, my monitor of my laptop it's uh, it's just flashing as well. So a lot of RF happening around this. Uh, it'll even light up the C on here a little bit. Uh, what I'll do is I'll shut the lights off here and it's good better. So uh, another interesting thing I found is if I spray a little bit of water, just a bit, watch what happens. See all the all the extra arcs that are happening. Just a bit of water. I'll spray it again a little bit more. I'll just spray some. I'll spray the sides with all the, the water. There's a view from the top. I'll spray it again. I thought maybe you guys would uh, like to see this. I'm the fun of it. Um, I didn't think there would be uh, real uh, use for this, uh, and I can't see it yet either. Um, but anyway, it's kind of cool too. larger than what a spark plug would be. I'd say that's about three quarters of an inch uh, ball. So this would be a really large replica of the uh, Krupa uh, Firestorm. So anyways I'll post this and 